CC means color correction, not color grading. Color correction is a process that makes colors balanced and natural, so don't get confused by the two. These videos, including mine, should be retitled to color grading, not color correction. Today, I'll show you a guide on both color correction and color grading. Thank you so much to my monthly Kofi supporters who are Envy, 2Crisp, and Mark Inch. Let's begin with color grading. Color grading is the opposite of color correction. The goal is to make the clip look unnatural. So head over to your effect panel and search for color balance, which will be underneath the obsolete folder and just drag this onto your clip. Make sure it's the HLS version. If you adjust the hue, you can see that the colors are changing. So they can be more green or yellow, or they can be a very strong red or pink, blue, purple, pretty much anything. My hue has been set to negative 80 and the result turned out like this. Now we are going to add Lumetri color. So you can do this by literally searching Lumetri color on the effects box this one underneath color correction or you can use the one that's already built into your panel and here you can further change the colors of your clip so let's say i want to go for a colder environment what i can do is decrease the temperature just like so you can see it's more blue if i increase it to a positive value you can see it looks warmer than before but it still retains that color balance that we added from before so if i was to hide it you can see it looks like this so this is just with the Lumetri color that we applied and this is with both effects tint is quite similar to temperature temperature but it applies it to the entire clip if that makes sense it's almost like a filter that applies it to all colors and i suppose you could pair it with temperature so if i wanted to go for a greater warmer look i can decrease the amount maybe not to negative 100 that looks a bit weird maybe a little higher like that you can see that it looks a bit more green than before so previously it looked like this but i'm going to leave my tint at zero and move on to the saturation so what the saturation does is it simply controls how striking colors look so if i increase it you can see they pop out more and if I was to set it to a negative value, it makes it look monochrome, which takes out all the colors, making it look washed out and dull. I'm going to leave mine at 100, and now we're going to move on to this section, which is light. If your clip is too dark, you can increase its brightness by setting the exposure to something higher than zero. So let's go for one. Too bright, then set it to a negative value, like negative 1.4. I'm going to leave it at one, and also what I'm going to do is increase the contrast. It's similar to saturation, but it works completely differently. So the colors do uh, appear more striking, I would say but it looks more natural compared to saturation. If you decrease the amount, it makes it look more washed out. Unlike the saturation, which completely takes out colors like that, I'm going to leave my contrast at 50. The highlights control the bright part of your clip. So as you can see, there's this part over here. It's a light source, so it could be a sun or a lamp or anything that's bright. So that's what the highlights do. They control the brighter parts, although it would affect the entire clip. So let me show you, if I just turn it down, you can see that this part of light that I was talking about, it sticks out a bit more because everything around it has been darkened the shadows i would say are the opposite to the highlights so it would control everything outside it so for example the nose the shadow on the hair and also the eyes and also the eyelash it's difficult to explain because there's so much going on but i'm leaving it at negative 50. the whites and blacks are easy to understand it literally controls what it says so for example the blacks will control the black levels like on the nose so if i increase that it will look more washed out and blend in but if i decrease it it stands out more i'm going to leave both at zero next i want to talk about curves which is just two blocks underneath basic correction so just there underneath creative these control the rgb levels of your clip colors that are red green blue and of course white which controls everything like the opacity so you can completely dim it or make it extremely overexposed and you can do that by using these points so there should be one at the top and one at the bottom of course you can create new ones and i'll show you how to do that in a bit but let's say you want more blue on your clip so what you would do is either bring down the red and the green or bring the blue a little higher so for example if i select the blue and click and drag the top point a little higher like so you can quite clearly see what's being changed i won't lie this actually looks quite impressive in fact let's do a comparison so before it looked like this and after it looks like this bring the blue down and you achieve the opposite it will take away all the blue making red and green the dominant colors now i'm just going to leave it back to where it was let's say that this is the original clip and you want to bring in some red what you would do is select the red curve and just drag it up like so not too much though otherwise it's going to break and look like this so just keep it balanced like that and then we're going to bring down the other colors like green so I'm just going to pull it down like that and then the same goes for blue as well. Whether you like it or not is entirely subjective and it depends on your style but you can see we've kind of replaced the blue with red just immediately flipped it around with the colors. I'm just going to reset it back to what it was. So the top pin controls the overall color of the curve. I believe it controls the brighter parts and what the bottom pin does is it controls the darker parts. So if I increase it more red is now visible across the darker parts like the eyelash. It kind of works like a tint effect 
effect if you've ever used that before. Now this is entirely optional but for the white curve what you can do is add a little bit more of contrast by doing this. So if I just create a point and slightly pull it down like that and then create another point just above it and pull it up. So you should end up with a very slight curve. So before and after. If you have a low quality clip I would not recommend applying this method as you might see some issues with the bitrate but if you're not then let's continue. Let's say you want to add this color grade onto your other clips so for example this one and also this one. What you can do is actually use something called a comparison view. So just head over to your second or next clip and what I'm going to do is head over to color wheels and match and then I'm going to click on comparison view then just scrub to your color graded clip like that and click on apply match. Click on comparison view again and you'll see that the color grade has been applied. Of course it's not going to look the exact same but you can always go back and make extra changes if necessary. Now moving on to color correction. Unfortunately I can't use any more chainsaw man clips. The colors already look very natural I'd say. So let's go for something a bit more stylistic like mob. First of all head over to window which is at the very top and make sure that lumetri scopes is checked. So just click on it. It's probably not going to look like this for you but just right click any Anywhere and select vector scope and also waveform and then also change the waveform type to luma instead of rgb now i know it looks complicated because it is complicated but 100 is the limit and zero is the minimum this thing whatever it is it should not go below zero or over 100 and we want to move this um splodge i guess uh, to the center rather than have it spread around so once again we're going back to basic correction underneath lumetri color and we're going to mess around with the settings to get it as natural looking as possible if I can. So first of all I'm going to increase I think the exposure or the highlights I'm not entirely sure because I need to reach 100 so if I just increase that it's almost touching 100 which looks fine um, but let's try increasing the highlights that doesn't really work so yeah we just have to increase the exposure like that. However I need this bottom part to reach zero and contrast isn't really helping and the uh, the splodge has kind of gone off the graph so I think I'll use highlights to just decrease the amount like that and also decrease the shadows a little. You can see that's moving down now but it stops moving after a certain point so I think it's around negative, negative 70 I think or maybe negative 50 or 55 something like that so I'm going to leave it at that. I've also just learned that the whites actually control the top half and then the blacks control the bottom half like that so since i want it to reach zero i can just turn it down like that not too much i think that looks fine just there yeah something like that this bit's still sticking out so i think uh if i just increase the shadows yep you can see it's moving back in like so i think something like 50 is fine because my video starts to break you can see on the side it looks horrendous so i think i'll stick to something like maybe 50. i believe these stand for red yellow green and so on and it's very close to yellow so my goal is to get it towards blue uh, so let's decrease the temperature perhaps. Yep, that's working. But now it looks a bit too blue. So no, we need to increase the amount. In fact, let me decrease the saturation a little as well, like that. Not too much, otherwise it looks completely washed out and very monochrome. So we're going to keep it around maybe 75 or in fact, let's do... 85. I think I'll decrease the shadows just a bit more and I think that's done. It looks perfect to be honest besides the horrible quality and video breaking. So let's do a comparison before it looked like this very bright everything stands out but it doesn't look natural and then after the colors are almost as balanced as they can get. So that's how you color grade and color correct. Peace.